everyone, thanks for joining me again. My name is Wally from Wally Cooks Everything and today I'm making something that grows out from my backyard. Can you guess what it is? It is lemongrass. This is how it looks. If you don't live in Southeast Asia, you probably just see something that looks like this at your local Asian grocer. But lemongrass grows out in my backyard. And ever since I moved to Thailand and bought this house five years ago, there's two things that I noticed. One, I can grow this really, really well. And number two, I can only grow weeds and cats. And that's it. Um, I, I tried growing other types of vegetables and herbs and I just had like real bad luck with it. So anyways, I'm going to be cooking up Vietnamese lemongrass chicken. Uh, again, I'm basing my recipe off from uh, the Vietnamese restaurants in New York City. In New York City, there's a, a huge Vietnamese community and they have some of the best restaurants there. And whenever I go there, not only do I eat the beef pho, but I also eat lemongrass chicken a lot. So that's what I'm going to be cooking up today. I tell you, they, they just grow like weeds. Okay, so the most important step for making Vietnamese lemongrass chicken is of course, you have to marinate your chicken. So right here, I have four pieces of chicken thigh. So in New York City, the Vietnamese restaurants that I go to, they sell chicken steak. So when you make a chicken steak and they always use chicken thighs because it's, it's juicier than chicken breast meat, right? So to make a chicken steak, you have to flatten out your chicken thighs. And this is how you do it. Just use something heavy. Uh, if you have a meat mallet, use a meat mallet, of course. You just basically want to flatten out and even out the cooking surface of your chicken. One of the most important reasons why you want to do this is because when you're cooking this, right, you want to make sure that, that the whole chicken thigh cooks evenly. It makes sense, right? If you think about it, you look at this, you put it down on a hot wok or a grill pan or whatever, and this will cook evenly. This not so evenly because some pieces because some parts are thicker and some parts are thinner right so it makes sense to flatten out your chicken not too thin but just enough so that the chicken thigh is even in shape so i'm going to do the rest here and when you're doing this you also tenderize your chicken too so it's a win-win situation so doing this is just one trick that restaurants use to make their their foods look bigger right if you look at it your chicken thigh is much Looks like it looks like a lot bigger than before, right? So when you cook it for your customers, I mean, look at it. Wow, they look like one big piece of chicken. But in actuality, it's just one piece chicken thigh. Okay, so that's it. So now I got four pieces of chicken chicken thighs flattened, and now I'm going to make my marinade. Okay, so now that I tenderize and flatten my chicken, let's talk about the marinade. So the most important ingredient, of course, is the lemongrass, okay? I'm gonna have a full description of the recipe below. All you need is just two stems of lemongrass like this. So what you do is you just chop it in half because the upper half of the stem, you can't eat it. You take the lemongrass and you cut off the bottom ends and then you peel off the two outer layers because the outer layers are a little bit tough so you can't really eat those. So all you need is just the bottom half of the lemongrass stem and then you mince the lemongrass, okay? And then all you need is just half a shallot, mince the shallot too, and about four cloves of garlic. Just basically, I just basically figured out one clove of garlic per chicken. Uh, but you gotta mince the garlic, and uh, if you want to use more or less, it's up to you, all right? So once that's done, you just add it to your chicken. And now we need the seasoning. So the most important seasoning for this is the fish sauce. I'll have two tablespoons of fish sauce, one teaspoon of light soy sauce, one teaspoon of pure sesame oil, make sure it's pure and not the mixed stuff, and one teaspoon of oyster sauce, just half a teaspoon of ground white pepper, and one teaspoon of paprika. And of course, when you, when you eat a uh, lemongrass chicken, there's a bit of sweet to it. Well, actually there's a lot of sweet to it. And I'm choosing to use brown sugar, okay? So here's a quarter cup of brown sugar. And finally, I'm going to add a tablespoon of cooking oil. There you go. And then you give it a good mix. Make sure that all the pieces are covered with the marinade sauce. So while I'm mixing, let's talk about marinating this chicken, okay? Now if you're short on time, 
you need at least one hour, okay? But preferably, you want to marinate this chicken for at least overnight. I've tried marinating this chicken overnight, uh, half a day, and just an hour, and I can tell you that overnight will yield you the best results. But luckily, I invented a time machine, so... So there you go, my chicken. And as you can see, my time machine also changes the bowl too, so pretty cool, huh? All right, so this chicken is ready to be cooked. Okay, so pro tip, so we, when you take your marinated lemongrass chicken out of the fridge, make sure that your chicken is uh, at room temperature because if you start cooking it immediately, what, what will happen is when you put it on a hot pan, it's going to steam instead. And obviously, steaming your lemongrass chicken is not what you want to do. And another pro tip is that because your chicken is so thin, you want to cook your lemongrass chicken at a medium low heat and this way you get a nice really good slow sear and not overcook your chicken too fast. So in this hot wok I have about four tablespoons of oil and my pan is at medium low heat. So I'm going to put my chicken down, skin side down. So I'm going to cook mine about three minutes each side. Obviously you want to turn your smaller pieces around first because smaller pieces cook more fast, right? Makes sense, right? Get that out. And get that out. So another reason why you want to use sort of a lower heat to cook this chicken is because as you, as you saw before, there's a lot of sauces and a lot of sugar and the sauce and the sugar they tend to burn more fast when you're cooking. If you're using just the right balance of uh, cooking fire, your sugars won't burn and make your chicken completely black looking. And now I'm going to turn my heat up to medium heat, alright? And another pro tip, remember I used a tong the first time taking out my raw chicken? I'm gonna switch it over to a brand new tong so that I don't cross contaminate. Tasty. Very important. Okay, this piece is ready. The small one. Check that out. Oh, look at that. You can still see pieces of lemongrass, some of the uh, shallots. Okay, everyone, that's it. I'm gonna turn out the fire. I cooked these chicken for about six minutes total, around three minutes each side. Take a look. See, as you can see, there's a burn on it. That's part of the from the sugar that I used, but it's not too bad. So that's what you gotta keep an eye out for, okay? Because this can happen to your whole entire chicken. They can burn it out. And here you go, my Vietnamese lemongrass chicken. Looks delicious, right? Time to plate this baby. So here's a plate of jasmine rice and I'm going to put my Vietnamese lemongrass chicken right here. And you know, you can also put this on a sandwich too, okay? So that's an idea for you. You can use like a baguette and just put this on there and use some, some maybe some pickled vegetables. But for this, normally when I order this at a Vietnamese restaurant back in New York City, they garnish the plate with some tomatoes and some cucumber. But I gotta be honest, I'm not a huge fan of carrots and cucumbers. So I'm just going to use some tomatoes and some raw onions. And there you go. All right, time for a taste test. Knife and fork. Look at that. Nice juicy chicken. Mm, and the flavor is so on point. Mm, that marinade is so awesome. You can taste the fish sauce, you can taste the lemongrass, and I'm telling you, that overnight marinade is what makes the huge, huge difference. This is so good, I'm gonna need one more piece. Yeah. Okay everyone, so thanks for joining me again. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see my future videos, uh, do subscribe to this channel, and do hit the notification button so you'll be alerted to my latest videos. Okay, so everyone, so as you can see, it's so easy to cook Vietnamese lemongrass chicken. As long as you follow my tips, marinate overnight 
and start your pan on a on a medium low to medium heat and increase the heat if you need to because if you don't you're gonna burn the outside of your chicken all right okay so those are your main tips so do try this recipe out and i'll see you guys next time take care bye